Hi everyone and welcome back to another gum video. The setting's a little different because today it's a special, a special, special video because I want to take you guys back into your childhood. Do you guys remember Hubba Bubba? I used to chew this all the time. Hubba Bubba, Bubble Yum, and Bubblicious, right? So let's get started. gonna take a while because I there's a lot of sugar in here there's liquid in here was It is a very special video because I'm going to read a book. Do you guys remember Corduroy? Take you back in time because when I was in, I think, second grade, I read this book. And if, of course, it was the small, well, it was a bigger paperback thin book but now they have it really thick for little kids to enjoy <clears throat> and it won't rip easily so I read this when I was in second grade second or third grade and then when my kids were growing up I had them read the, this too and I, I think they read it at school I read mine at school This is one of my favorite books. I bet you guys all read this too. Those of you that are older or even younger because my kids read it too. And I got this for my little Belle, my granddaughter. So let me start reading. Corduroy, story and pictures by Don Freeman. This is for you, okay? Corduroy is a bear who once lived in the toy department of a big store. Day after day, he waited with all the other animals and dolls for somebody to come along and take him home. If you guys like story time and you have kids, my other channel, Mystery Granny's Story Time. It's a kids channel and I read stories in there, so go check that out. The link is down below. The store was always filled with shoppers buying all sorts of things, but no one ever seemed to want a small bear in green overalls. Then one morning, a little girl stopped and looked straight into Corduroy's bright eyes. Oh, mommy, she said, look, there's the very bear I've always wanted. Not today, dear, her mother sighed. I spent too much money already. Besides, he doesn't look new. He's lost the button to one of his shoulder straps. Corduroy watched them sadly as they walked away. Feeling of rejection probably, right? 
feeling of not being wanted. I didn't know I'd lost a button, he said to himself. Tonight, I'll go and see if I can find it. Late that evening, when all the shoppers had gone and the doors were shut and locked, Corduroy climbed carefully down to his shelf and began searching everywhere on the floor for his lost button. snap with this bubble gum. Usually I could. It's too soft. Suddenly he felt the floor moving under him. Quite by accident he had stepped onto an escalator and up he went. Could this be a mountain? He wondered. I think I've always wanted to climb a mountain. There he is, climbing the moving mountain. He stepped off the escalator as it reached the next floor. And there, before his eyes, was a most amazing sight. Tables and chairs and lamps and sofas and rows and rows of beds. This must be a palace, Corduroy gasped. Guessed. I guess I've always wanted to live in a palace. He wandered around admiring the furniture. This must be a bed, he said. I've always wanted to sleep in a bed. And up he crawled onto a large, thick mattress. All at once, he saw something small and round. Why, here's my button, he cried, and he tried to pick it up, but like all the other buttons on the mattress, it was tied down tight. I even forgot the story. I just know about the little girl getting the little bear from the department store. He yanked and pulled with both paws until pop, until pop, off came the button and off the mattress corduroy toppled. Bang onto a, onto a tall floor lamp. Over it fell with a crash. Corduroy didn't know it, but there was someone else awake in the store. The night watchman was going his rounds on the floor above. When he heard the crash, he came dashing down the escalator.
Now who in the world did that? He exclaimed. Somebody must be hiding around here. He flashed his light under and over sofas and beds until he came to the biggest bed of all. And there he saw two fuzzy brown ears sticking up from under the cover. Hello, he said. How did you get upstairs? It should have been, hello, you're a talking stuffed animal. The watchman tucked Corduroy under his arm and carried him down the escalator. Back to the shelf he goes. and set him on the shelf in the toy department with the other animals and dolls. Corduroy was just waking up when, he fir when the first customers came into the store in the morning. And there, looking at him with a wide, Warm smile was the same little girl he'd seen only the day before. I think she brought her money that she saved up without mom. <laughs> I'm Lisa, she said, and you're going to be my very own bear. Last night I counted what I've saved in my piggy bank and my mother said I could bring you home. Shall I put him in a box for you? The sales lady asked. Oh, no, thank you, Lisa answered, and she carried Corduroy home in her arms. She ran all the way up four flights of stairs into her family's apartment and straight to her own room. How exciting. Corduroy blinked. There was a chair and a chest of drawers, and alongside a girl-sized bed stood a little bed just the right size for him. The room was small, nothing like the enormous palace in the department store. This must be home, he said. I know, I've always wanted a home. Lisa sat down with Corduroy on her lap and began to sew a button on his overalls. I like you the way you are, she said, but you'll be more comfortable with your shoulders with your shoulder strap fastened. You must be a friend, said Corduroy. I've always wanted a friend. Me too, said Lisa, and gave him a big hug. The end. Most of us want new things, perfect toys, perfect gifts, you know. Who would go out of their way to buy something broken? But you know, sometimes the greatest treasures we can get come broken sometimes, right? Just like how we're broken. But God, through His love and grace, He sent Jesus, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior, to make us whole again and to repair us and fix us and make us perfect. So I hope you like that story. Comment below if you read this as a child 
or if you're a young kid right now reading this at school comment below this this brought me a lot of good memories and this is for bell hey bell this is for you i mean got you this book okay read it usually bubble gums also are good snapping gums this is not but it's very soft and the flavor is long lasting. And blows pretty good big bubbles. Let me see if I can force a snap. Chewing sounds are very satisfying, even for me. If you have kids, nieces, or you know, neighbors' kids, tell them about Granny's um, story time channel. Okay, go over there, listen to all the stories. If you have kids, I do bedtime stories. It'll bore them to death. They'll fall asleep fast. Okay. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you for all your love and support. And we will see you in the next video. May God bless you.